On a recent trip with my grandkids to the Ark Encounter in northern Kentucky, a full-scale replica of Noah's Ark, it really brought me back to thinking a lot about the message in the Bible about Noah, the flood, uh, the statements that are made there, and what we can learn. And I've been thinking a great deal about that, that topic. In fact, I'll probably write an article for the Beyond Today magazine on that subject as well. Christ said in Matthew chapter 24, verse 37, that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days coming of the, son, of the coming of the Son of Man. He talked about life going on, uh, normal, people eating and drinking and, and marrying and giving in marriage. And he was really making the point that the, the days leading up to my return are not going to be that far different from the time when Noah's, uh, in Noah's age, as we read back in Genesis, where the earth was corrupt before God and the earth was filled with violence. And an earlier Beyond Today Daily, I mentioned that that world did not really understand the judgment, believe even that there was a judgment or consequences for their actions, for sin. They had no concept about that and how that is very true today. But there's another larger overarching point for us to consider when we look at the ark and the story and it, the ark almost has a, a witness to us and Christ himself bringing that to our forefront of what our world is like today. If the world of Noah did not believe there was a time of judgment coming for sin, then obviously they discounted God. They didn't believe in God. They didn't trust God. God wasn't in their life. Is that so today? Have we come to the point as well for many in our world today where there is not a belief in God? And is that not a, a sign of our time being like that of the time of Noah? I think so. I recently did a Beyond Today program about the Ten Commandments, and in that I quoted from a newsman, a world-renowned newsman, about his view on the commandments of God, that they were commandments, not suggestions. It was in a commencement speech that he had given in the 1980s to a group of college graduates. And I made the point that today that would can be considered, in a college setting, hate speech. He couldn't give that commencement address that he gave in the late 80s in America today before a graduating class of college uh, uh, students. God has been removed from the public square, from the public discussion, from the public debate in so many of those areas. Are we not living in the days just like they were that during the time of Noah where God has been removed? Something to think about. Again, when I looked at that, took my grandchildren through it, thought about it, it, it was almost like it, it, it was bringing me back to the scriptures, almost like a witness that, hey, we need to think about this. And if that world didn't accept God, if they didn't believe there was uh, uh, judgment for sin, where are we today? And what does that mean? It should bring us to an understanding that our lives should be examined against the standard of the word of God, to learn a lesson, to repent, lest we be partakers of that type of culture and that society and its consequences in our own life. It's something to think about. That's BT Daily. Join us next time.